Hey there, it's Charlene with thehrgirl.com and welcome to Ask the HR Girl, where once a week we attempt to demystify your HR related challenge. So let's get right to this week's question. Okay, dear HR Girl, I own a small business and I have been made aware that we will experience a loss of a major contract the first part of next year. So sorry to hear that. It is looking more and more like I will need to reduce my workforce. I'm trying to decide between reduction in force, layoff, or making some of them contractors as I need them. Any advice? Well, yes. On this topic, I have way more advice than what I'm able to share in this less than three minute video. So feel free to reach out and we can chat a little bit more. But as you and maybe some other small businesses are doing your due diligence on this topic, I will share a little basic information but be sure to reach out to your favorite employment law attorney before you make any final decisions. Now, the terms reduction in force, better known as RIF, and layoff are used interchangeably because they both are the result of lack of work, but for different reasons. A layoff is a temporary separation from payroll. Usually, the employer believes conditions will change and they'll be able to call all of their employees back to work. Okay, And this typically happens with businesses that are seasonal and sometimes in manufacturing. Now, a layoff can become a RIF if the circumstances and the conditions of the business don't change because a RIF is more permanent. It's the total elimination of a position, usually due to financial reasons like the loss of a contract or elimination of a line of business. In regards to making them contractors, some, all, or any, please, <laughs> Unless the individuals that you are considering meet the definition of a contractor, I do not recommend, recommend excuse me, making them contractors. That can get you in a whole heap of trouble, particularly these days, with such focus and interest in the contractor versus employee situation. Now, again, this is a very interesting topic, and I'm more than happy to chat with you a little bit more. But thank you so much for your question and thanks everybody for spending a little bit of time with me. I know how precious it is. And if you have an HR related challenge, go to the hrgirl.com, click on Ask the HR Girl and submit your question. It might be next week's video. Make it a different day and we'll see you the next time. Bye.